DCS crew, what is up? Today we are going to go ahead and check out a knife that I have been waiting literally months to get in my hand. And uh, now that I got it, I'm kind of conflicted. And uh, you'd be surprised as to why. Um, and it's not because of the quality of the knife. It's not because of the designer. I'll get to that once we really, really get into uh, this video after the intro. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you which one it is. This is the, uh, how do I say this? This is the Gareth Bull Designed. We manufactured um, Drop or Mass Drop Marketed, uh, the company formerly known as Mass Drop Marketed, Mura from, yeah, We Knife Company. So really, really cool knife. Uh, this is one of the two variants that they had offered on the Drop website. There was a wood scale version and then there was this carbon fiber weave uh, version with a nice black washed scale, kind of murdered out. It's got that drop logo right there. Uh, kind of feeling it. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this awesome front flipper, and uh, you know, compare it to a couple other knives, and give you my final thoughts on it after the intro rolls out. So, stay tuned. <laughs> What's up and welcome back to the channel. So like I said before, here we have an interesting knife. Um, it's kind of like a sisterhood of the, or a brotherhood of the traveling uh, uh, knife design here, <laughs> like sisterhood of the traveling pants. Um, basically, um, what we have is the Mura. Um, the Mura is designed by Gareth Bull. It's manufactured by Wee Knife Company and it's produced by Drop or the company formerly known as Mass Drop. Now, uh, for those that are wondering what Mura actually means, what Mura is, uh, that's actually a Spanish fighting bull that was bred from the, line from the lineage of uh, Mura uh, Castile, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, the, the Mura Castile, ugh, what am I saying? The Mura Cattle Ranch, okay? And, um, that's also known in Spanish, for those who are Latin, that's uh, Ganaderia Mura out of Seville, Spain, okay? Um, and for car enthusiasts, you will recognize that name, the, the Mura, um, because that is actually the name of a very classic Lamborghini um, uh, vehicle, okay? That sports car is a really, really cool classic uh, vehicle, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can put a picture of that on this site. So. Um, now that said, um, I, I, I talk a little bit about some cool stuff about the, the, the Mura, the actual, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the bull that actually gave it that name and made it, you know, a significant fighting bull. Uh, it's, it's one of the fighting bulls that they typically use during the, 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 the Spanish, um, you know, bull fights. And um, I'm not going to do that because this is about the knife itself. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to go ahead and compare it to a couple of knives that are here. Uh, first and foremost, we have the Concept Pelican. Really awesome knife. Uh, Protec SBR. We have the Artisan Cutlery Mini Archeo. Civivi Dogma. have the other concept knives. This is the uh, Goblin, or I think the Mini Goblin from Marshall Noble. We have the Civivi Ortis. And just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a wild card here. And this is the Lumen Top EDC AA Flashlight. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on there so you can see. <laughs> All right. So now that being the case, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be kind of honest here uh, and tell you that I'm. I, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna suck me having to say this, but I'm 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 really not feeling this knife, and the reason why isn't because of what you would think. Um, I'm just I'm just kind of pissed, you know. Uh, I'm 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 not happy with the fact that you know it, it's it. <sighs> It's a it's a great knife that's produced by a great designer and it's and it's manufactured through a great company and then you know uh, drop or mass drop actually got it and they went ahead and they produced a certain number of them they they produced uh, wood and they uh, produced uh, the carbon fiber weave variants by the way and um, they sold them 
and they sold out and they haven't come out with any since. Now, um, reviewers have been posting, you know, pictures and videos and stuff like that of this knife. I want to say as early as, say, I don't know, July of last year. And it was something that was, you know, meant to be in limited numbers. And by the time it hit my desk, it was sold out. I couldn't find it anymore. Couldn't buy it. And it's not an easy knife to find on the secondary market. Everybody is about the Shamwari or the Shamwiri, which is the, the, the production model, uh, Gareth Bull, that, um, that We Knife Company uh, released. And they don't really talk about this knife much. And it sucks because this is actually a really nice knife, okay? When you talk about the, um, the overall length of this knife, we're looking at an overall length of just over seven inches. I think it's uh, 7.3 inches. You got a 4.2 inch scale, a uh, set of scales here. And um, the, the blade is actually 3.2 inches. This is right around the sweet spot for me, knife wise, okay? Cause it's just big enough uh, for me to be, for me to use for everyday, you know, carry activities. I think it's just, it's more than enough blade shape for the kind of uh, task that I use. And it's small enough and, uh, you know, the form factor is slim enough for me to be able to use, especially in this kind of configuration uh, for, you know, office related activities. It's all black, you know, so it's gonna be very unassuming. Um, you have that black blade, you have the, uh, just that black clip that has that black oxide. So that means it won't even shine. I mean, look at it compared to the carbon fiber. It doesn't really shine that much. There's no billboarding here. The billboarding for, for drop is actually, let me see if I can show it there. It's actually on the pivot and even at that, it's not, um, it's not very bold like the Civivi, which is the C and then you have the D for drop right there and it's kind of just kind of subdued there okay and uh, even just the the blade itself it's got that nice black wash look you have the maker's mark which is gareth uh, gareth bull there really awesome maker s35vn is the steel that they provide and it is indeed a front flipper this is one of the uh, few that i can go ahead and get i can uh, flick it out really well i can just kind of like roll it out and it you know locks up very nice the lock up on this is actually really good and it's one of those that with the index finger, you can kind of get it to flick out really nice as well. This is a very, very nice knife. Now, why don't I like it? Well, it's because I'm just I'm just salty with the fact that I finally have one in my hands. I like it and I would love to be able to pick up something like this to be able to use as an ideal, you know, office knife for, you know, my office activities. But I'm not going to be able to because nobody's selling theirs and... Uh, you can't buy it off of drop. Now, I hope that they come out with more again, but in the meantime, that is the big issue. The fact is you just, it's unobtainium as of right now. And I hate that because if you do find it on the secondary, they're gonna wanna charge you an arm and a leg and two kidneys and probably your next of kin for it. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not about that life. I'm not about it. Um, you know, the action is great. You know, you got, you know, you got the cage bearings, the ceramic ball bearings on it. Um, you know, the, the liner lock, uh, it does have, it, it is titanium. Um, I mean, you just, you have a lot of really, really good resources that went into this knife to not only make it look sleek, top shelf, you know, materials, but lightweight. You're looking at around uh, sub three ounces. So it's 2.7 ounces. And, you know, like I said before, it comes from We Knife Company, okay? Uh, it even ships in this pouch uh, with a microfiber cloth, which I believe is in here. I guess it's not. Okay, well, I didn't include it uh, when they sent it over for me to go ahead and check out. That's no no big deal. But um, in any case, that is my issue with this knife. It's like, you know, don't show me a nice knife and tell me, yeah, you like it? Well, unfortunately, you can't get it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, props to the Apex Group for, for providing this for us to be able to review. But the truth is there were so many people that wanted to review this particular knife that by the time I actually got my hands on it, it was long sold out. I'm talking people have been reviewing this since July of 2020 and it's February of 2021. And I'm able to finally go ahead and show this to the DCS crew. Yes, that's you. And I can't get one for myself. Yeah, so um, if you know anybody who actually has one and is interested in maybe trading for one of the knives I do have, 
or even, you know, just uh, paying a, a, a decent price, not like an uber crazy, you know, uh, screw you because you didn't get one during the first batch kind of premium pricing, feel free to go ahead and drop me an email or drop a comment. Uh, for those of you who actually do have this knife and want to comment a little bit about it, I mean, feel free to go ahead and sign off below. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, those are basically my thoughts. I mean, I, I really don't want to go ahead and and talk bad about this knife because the truth is it's not a bad knife and we is not a bad company they are going by the way that it was ordered hopefully um based on the way that the sales were with this particular knife uh, drop will do a little bit more based on demand hopefully they'll do some variants hopefully gareth has some feedback on this particular knife that says hey it was good let's keep going with it you know but for now, it doesn't look that way. And that's going to be the biggest issue with this knife. So it, I can't tell you whether I would recommend to buy it or not, because there's nothing to buy, even if I recommended for you to buy it as of the date of this video. Now, if it does come back out, please feel free to go ahead and comment below. And I will be the first one to go ahead and pick one up and tell you that, yeah, I'd recommend it if it was able to be bought. I would recommend it, especially for those that are in a, an office style setting or want, you know, a nice upscale style knife from a great African uh, knife maker. Gareth Bull makes some awesome, awesome looking knives. Woo! And I wish I owned some of his, his, his designs, but I can't justify pay, paying that type of premium. So the closest I would get is the production We Knife, which is, in this case is uh, produced and marketed specifically through Drop or the company formerly known as Mass Drop. So um, just remember guys, whether you have his custom, whether you have this one, you know, you can have another knife from, say, another company like Concept, like this little mini goblin. Uh, just remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. Guys, you've been great. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this hasn't been too ranty. I'm just kind of speaking my mind, and you know how it is, man. Uh, but the truth is, I really do like this knife. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share. Do everything you can. Reach out to me on Instagram. Ask me a question. Just... Ask me how my day is. I mean, I'd be more than happy to talk to any of y'all. So in the meantime, take it easy, guys. I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'll catch you on the flip side.